Hey all dear students, this is Prajesh Chaudhary, your quantum guru. Let's see this very beautiful question of electrostatics from 200 more puzzling problem of physics. So in this question, there are two long uniformly charged skew rods having the same linear charge density and they are separated by distance d. As shown on the figure, we have to find the force of interaction. So they say that there are two very long thin insulating rods each carrying uniform linear charge density lambda lie in perpendicular directions uh, in the three dimensional space a distance d from each other what is the magnitude of force of repulsion between them uh, it's written there insulating rods uh, what does that mean because because of the insulating nature their charge distribution will not change because of the presence of each other so we have to find the uh, magnitude of the repulsion between them. Let's go ahead. The rods are like this. So they are skew rods. Suppose this right rod is this and this rod is this. So like that. And you can see different orientation like that. And the, the separation between them is D. And these rods are infinitely long or very long. So we have to find the force of interaction. So uh, and let me draw the way I am showing. Uh, I want to draw them on a page. So this rod will go into the plane or away from the plane so i will show this rod as a cross and i will show this rod as a, a, a rod in the plane of the page uh, before that uh, if i have this rod suppose this is a rod of uniform charge density lambda so at a distance r from it at a distance r from it like this the electric field would be here this is r and that electric field is 2k lambda by r it is the radial area or like this if this is a rod and if i am here so electric field is here electric field is here now if the rod is like that rod is like that now here if i am here the electric field would be like that if i am here electric field would be like that if i am here electric field would be like that so with that thing in mind so this is an infinite rod this rod is in the plane of the page and this rod is also infinite into the plane or out of the plane perpendicular separated by distance d and let me take this point of the rod in the plane of this page at a distance small r from here at an angular position theta like this and see suppose uh, this point is say at a distance say y if and now let me take another little point another point a uh, little distance from here so this is another point on this rod uh, its angular position is at theta plus theta uh, d theta and this distance is dy so i am going to take this element through this element i will cover the whole rod so and the charge of this element this length is dy so this length is dy so this charge would be uh, dq is equal to linear charge density lambda into dy and now as this element goes from minus infinity to plus infinity my limit of y will go from minus infinity to plus infinity and my limit of theta will go from if this element is here towards a negative y direction so this theta would be minus pi by 2 and then when this will be in the the positive y direction positive uh, infinite y so that theta would be uh, pi by 2 so through that element uh, i can cover this whole rod and hence i will get the net force and the variable my theta will vary from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 all right now because of this infinite var electric field at a distance r from here here would be in this direction like this this electric field e and this E will have uh, two components. This component is a perpendicular to this wire in the plane of the page and this is parallel. So on this DQ there will be one force here, one force here. I can take a symmetrical element here, Y distance below. Here the electric field will be on this direction and here there will be E perpendicular like that and E parallel like that the forces on the e parallel component would be on a symmetrical element would be equal and opposite they will cancel but the e perpendicular components will add up so the net force will be, will come from the e perpendicular component so uh, 
force on this dq because of this e perpendicular essay this is a df like this and what all i have to do is the just summation of df as theta goes from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 okay so now let's start this r this general r this is a d and this is theta so this r is equal to uh, d sec theta r is equal to d sec theta that is d sec theta and uh, this dq and y is equal to y is equal to y is equal to d ten theta so dy i would be needing so dy would be a uh, d sec square theta into d theta electric field because of this lambda here this angle is theta so first of all this magnitude of e the magnitude of e is a 2k lambda by r so let me write it 2k lambda r is a d sec theta and uh, the force on this df df is because of the perpendicular component of electric field so that will be dq into e perpendicular and dq is how much dq is a lambda dy dy is this d sec square theta into d theta and e perpendicular you see this e perpendicular is e cos theta let me write first e cos theta then okay so now this thing that is lambda uh, d sec square theta d theta e is equal to 2k lambda by what by d sec theta into cos theta so you see that very simple thing this sec square theta this is sec theta so that will become sec theta and sec theta into cos theta will become just one this whole df will be this df will become 2k lambda square and d theta that's it only variable is theta now so overall now the net force this f net this f net will be integration of df so 2k lambda square and d theta theta will vary from minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 so this integration will become 2k lambda square into a pi I can put the value of k 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught so we will get f net is equal to I put the k is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught so f net will become very simple result uh, lambda square divided by 2 epsilon naught so what is good thing about this result is that this result does not depend on the separation between the two rods so that is our answer thank you